What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today's video I'm going to walk you through a landing page that's converting right now in Google Ads in a live campaign at 25%. I'm going to walk you through this page, the elements, how it's laid out, and how we get it to convert this high so you can copy this and do it for yourself. Okay guys, so what you're looking at is inside the live Google Ads account, and this is for a CPR training business called Ready Response. It's actually my brother's company. I've been running his ads for him for like six months. And I'm gonna walk you through this campaign, how what we're doing with it, and I'm gonna take you right from this into the landing page so you guys can see the types of, uh, it's basically a funnel of what we're doing here. So again, this is CPR training, last 30 days, September 24th, August, or I'm sorry, October 23rd. So 30 days. CPR training, and they are targeting a uh, bunch of counties outside of Philadelphia, Bucks County. So 259 clicks, 2,885 impressions, 8.9% click-through rate, which is awesome. I mean, anything above five is great. Keep that in mind, guys, when you're building your campaigns. Average cost per click is nice and cheap at $1.85. The total spend in the last 30 days in Google is $478. He's gotten 65 leads. Now this is not just a lead, this is a mixture, and I'm gonna show you in a minute, this is a mixture of actually booked sales where someone has to pay and they book a class with them, and people who call in and people who submit a form, which I'll show you all three of these on the landing page and down the road in a minute. Then the cost per lead is $7.37, which I'm extremely happy with. Anything under 10 bucks is a win. And the landing page is converting this cold traffic into leads and sales at 25% right now which is awesome and I'm extremely happy with that number anything above 20% I'm extremely psyched about so the next thing I'm gonna do is walk you guys into the conversion actions and show you what these actually these leads are looking like all right so we are inside the uh, Google Ads campaign still we're gonna go into the settings and check out these conversion actions here so we'll come up to goals use campaign specific goals so you can see what we're tracking booked appointments now these are a sale Right, a sale came from this campaign. So they went, they filled out, they landed on the landing page, they filled out their phone number, they got redirected to the class schedule page, they picked the class, they booked it, they paid, and they got redirected to a thank you page. That's what a booked appointment is. Other is our call rail integration. This is inbound phone calls that come from the um, landing page. And phone call leads obviously is our call extension. Now that is simply just a tracking number that we set up and attach to our ads. And when someone calls that, it tracks as a conversion. And then request quote is when someone lands on the landing page right on the front end in the header, they submit their phone number to check the class schedule. And then from there, it walks them through the process of booking a class. So those are the conversion actions we're going after. Now let's actually get into the page and I'll show you how to walk through it. Here it is, finally, the landing page. So what you're looking at is what's running right now in Google. Now there's a few elements right off the bat. Um, if you took any of my landing page, actually we'll keep watching after this video. It's, there's a playlist it's gonna roll into for landing pages and how, they, how we build them, how they work, because this will make a lot more sense to you guys. So make sure you keep watching. All right, uh, right when you land here, logo, call to action, call to book a class, click the call button. For, and then we right away we hit them with, what do we what do? We do? First aid and safety training for individuals and workplaces. Schedule at our training center or book your class on site. And then easy to book a class, enter your phone number. So we're, we're, we're not asking for too much. We don't want your name, your email, all these different things right off the bat. We want your phone number. Now there's a specific reason why we designed the page this way. Because my brother, Mike, has a, and I'm sorry, Mike, I'm gonna have to fill this out and become a lead, <laughs> but because I'm gonna show you guys. but. He has an automation system behind this that follows up via phone number. So then they get a text message and it comes with a link to their class schedule to book a class. And now when you book a class, you have to pay right on the spot and then you pick your date and you book your class. And that's how this whole thing works. But when you fill out this phone number, you hit book a class, it takes you to the class schedule page. And then if people bounce off of there because they don't want to book a class yet, either way, they're going to get a, a, you know, a hello text message from Mike. It's going to say, you know, I'm Mike, blah, 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 ready response here give and then he's like book a class or I don't know how he has it set up to be honest but it's something along that lines of automation then we have a video here where they go in and show the different trainings and what people are gonna learn pretty cool now if we're working our way down the page authorized training center 
some trust factors here, just from some uh, licensing and stuff like that that he's aligned with. And then f below the trust factors, we have no, and you'll notice there's no click to call, call to actions, no heavy stuff below the header because we're already asking. We're, we're doing our big ask right here. We want the phone number. That's what we want, or we want you to call. So we have two asks, and then it's just trust factors. We're licensed. Here's our license number. Here's brands we're associated with for trust and authority play. Then it comes down into, okay, here's our services. You know, community training, certification, workplace training, quality health and safety products, equipment rental, instructor training. So all the stuff they do is then listed below. Then we keep going down and we ask again for the phone number to book a class online. And then it tells a little bit about the areas they, they work in, they service, right response service, the tri-state area communities and workplaces, blah, 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 safety and training certification. So you can see there's lots of... Um, Lots of content structured uniquely, right? Like we ask for them, we ask for them to become a lead here. Then we're like, okay, if you're still scrolling, you didn't become a lead, that's fine. We're not gonna keep hammering you with buttons and forms and stuff like that. Instead, we're gonna give you trust building factors, right? So then that's what, how this works with the authority badges. Then it goes into their services so you can learn more. So you're working your way down the page, building knowledge and trust. And then it goes into my brother here and, um, you know, a little thing from him, and that's it. And then the call extension number down here. Really, really basic sales funnel page. Our main grab here is we want that phone number because we want to get them into a, a database with our automation. Now, if we fill out this page, I'll show you what happens. So watch this. So check this out. Now we're on the landing page. We're gonna submit something here. Just making up a number. I feel bad for my brother. He's gonna have to actually think this is somebody, but <laughs> it's for the greater good, right, guys? All right, so we got our phone number, and we're gonna hit book a class. Get a little thank you message, then we get a redirect. Now check this out. This comes to a schedule page. We have some locations where there's training centers, in-person training and certification. So we're telling them again. We're just reiterating the main focus of why they land on this page. We guarantee same day certificates at no additional cost. Welcome to our scheduling page. We provide a variety of engaging, efficient, effective safety courses. So then from here, all they have to do is come down and book. They pick the class they want to take and they book. So if we go through it, I'm actually not going to book a class because he'll be pissed. You know, it has your little calendar here, tells you about the class what you're going to learn, stuff like that. And then you just come through, you pick your available dates when they have classes. You get to choose that. You, it gives you the times here, 10 spots left, nine spots left, and you will book, right? I'm not going to do that because I don't want to screw with them, but it's a funnel. So we're funneling people through. So on the front end, we're getting the phone number and that's going into a database of follow-ups and a whole automation sequence of text messages and, um, stuff like that, that's going to get them to come back to this page to book. Not to mention you can send out text blasts to your list. You know, if there's a special or you have a class that's not completely filled up yet, you need to fill it. So there's a lot of different things going on here. But the main goal, obviously, is to use Google Ads to drive um, traffic to the page that actually comes through and books and pays for a paid class, which right now I think he's getting about anywhere from 10 to 15 of those a month right now. And then the rest of the leads are all just the phone numbers that are getting in the automation follow-up sequence. So that's how it works. Now, a majority of the traffic that we're sending is mobile, I believe. I have to double check. It might be, I don't remember. I have to go look, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. So hang tight for one minute and we're gonna jump over into Google Ads and I'll walk you through the types of traffic that we are running to this uh, funnel page, essentially. Back inside Google, got the campaign here. We're gonna go into it, and we're gonna look at the devices, and we'll see the types of traffic that's getting the majority of this, where leads are coming from. So this is interesting. If you look at it, it's almost a pretty even split on um, desktop computers versus uh, mobile cell phones. So it does look like desktop, I was wrong, it's desktop computers that are driving a majority of the leads at a higher conversion rate. So desktops actually converting at 28% and cell phones are converting at 21%. And it's also, as you can see here, it's a higher lead on cell phones, $8 a lead on desktop at $6.89 a lead. So overall, 
our statistics are better on desktop. So obviously what I'm going to do here, I look at the impression share on the top and the absolute top, and we're only at like 16% or 66%. A lot of that has to do with because his budget's only $15 a day. But we got room to run here. We got a lot of room. This He can get a ton more leads, triple this easily. So what I'm going to do is increase this by five because I want more of that higher converting traffic. So that's something cool. So now it, it makes you think like, all right, so why why is the cell phone traffic not converting as high? So something to do here to diagnose your landing page is to go look at the mobile version and see if there's something you can tweak or split test. I mean, that's what you're doing with, with uh, landing pages in Google Ads. You're, you're assessing data and then you're, you're running tests and experiments to try and, and continually increase those conversion rates. So desktop, I'm 28%. That's a freaking win. I'm happy with that. I'm not even going to bother messing with the split test on that. I don't really care, to be honest. That's a great conversion rate for this. But the 21%, if I can get it back up to 28 like the desktop, I'm definitely going to try to. So I'm going to run a split test on the mobile um, version of that page and kind of see what we do here. So one more thing before I get you, let you guys get out of here. I want to take you and show you the mobile page. And um, maybe we can drop some comments below this video of what we can do, some tests we can run, and then we could uh, make a future video saying the tests that you guys suggested and see how it did. I think that'd be fun. So let me get over to that page. This is what the page looks like on a mobile phone. You can see here we have our logo, a big call to action button here to call. Call to book a class right there in your face. And again, nice and neatly laid out with exactly what it is, a video to watch if you want. Main call to action, book a class, enter your phone number. So for scrolling down, I mean, the mobile version of this looks pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Um, so it's interesting that it's converting at 28% on desktop and 21% on on mobile. So we got to find a way maybe to bump up the cell, the cell phone traffic here to convert at around closer to 28%. So if you guys have suggestions that you want to see me test on this mobile version, drop them in the comment section below this video and... Um, I can start running some tests and we can do it. I'll do it together and see what happens. I think that would be fun to do. So I think one of the thing, the main things I'm going to try first, um, I'm going to try and do like an arrow, right? Or something like that. Like an arrow that comes down and curves and points to the call button. Or maybe I can do that down here even to the main call to action, the book a class that probably make more sense. So I think I'm going to try and do that next. But um, yeah, so if you guys have suggestions, drop them in the uh, comment section below and we can see if I can run a few tests with what you guys suggest. Besides that, uh, keep watching. Go to our landing page playlist. It should show actually at the end of this video of the next video to watch and how we actually use our landing page software to create landing pages and to get them designed like this so they pull these 25% plus conversion rates. So we have a whole playlist on landing pages. Make sure you guys check that out. All right, guys. I uh, will see you in tomorrow's video.